This is the most realistic graphics in a VR survival game that I've ever seen. Just imagine you're stranded on this beach, then you've built this shelter out of different pieces of wood you've harvested from, you know, the different palm trees. You've placed each individual piece of wood by your own hand, and you're just sitting underneath this palm tree in the shade, hiding from the hot sun, stranded on this deserted island. Hello guys, if you are new to the channel, my name is Smart Polly, and I'm a Unreal Engine 5 game developer. I make all sorts of Unreal Engine 5 content here on the channel, and in this video, I've created this ultra-realistic VR survival game demo scene, which is made up of some of the most realistic photo scan assets that I could find. And I have this running in Unreal Engine 5.4 on my RTX 4090 rig. We are using PC VR so that I can stream it to my Quest 3 headset wirelessly. And yeah, this is absolutely insane. So I have stabilized this footage as much as possible. Hopefully, you don't see any shakiness that you usually do when you record a VR video, but this is absolutely crazy so yeah we're spawned here on the beach and you can just look at the graphics guys let's actually check out this little piece of driftwood right here in front of us so we can just crouch down right here and look at this piece of wood you can see every single crack in the wood every little splinter and these are all mega scans assets by the way which basically they're just real world objects that have been photo scanned by high resolution cameras and they've been reconstructed digitally into an asset brought into Unreal Engine 5 so that's why it looks so realistic because because it's quite literally a scanned asset from real life. Now guys, before we get any further on into the video, if you guys want to learn how to make your own dream game inside of Unreal Engine 5, I have created a course that will show you how to create a multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5. When I was trying to learn Unreal Engine 5, there were hardly any good learning resources around for me to learn what it takes to create a full game from start to finish. So that's why I've created the ultimate Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course this course will show you how to create a multiplayer survival game from complete scratch in Unreal Engine 5, and it'll show you how to leverage some of the newest features that Unreal Engine 5 has to offer. This course has over 70 hours of course content, and it teaches you skills and things that you cannot fit into a simple YouTube video. There is no other course like this on the internet that will show you from scratch, step by step, how to create a multiplayer Steam survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5. You will learn how to create a drag and drop inventory system, a crafting system, system where you can craft all sorts of different items, a harvesting system where you can chop down trees, you can mine rocks and pick bushes. We create an open world map that features a swimmable ocean, lakes, rivers, mountains, and much more. We create a procedural spawning AI system, a base building system, and rating system, and we add Steam voice chat, player tribes, and so much more. This course has over 250 lectures which spans over 20 chapters and over 70 plus hours of course content, so check out the multiplayer survival game course bundle on my website smartpoly.teachable.com and make sure you pick up the course before I raise the price of the bundle later on. Just look at the beach and the sand. These are all scanned as well. I mean, you can see these little rocks casting their own shadows and everything in this scene is using Nanite, which is Unreal Engine 5's flagship feature. It allows you to have insane level of detail. I mean, raw photo scan level of detail, which means that you can have millions upon millions of triangles of geometry that make up these assets rather than having a flat model, which is a normal map slapped onto it. I mean, the best way to showcase this feature is if we actually head over to the foundation over here. So yeah, this is the wooden foundation. Uh, you'll see this a lot in survival games where you have to build your own base to survive through the night. So you can see this one is constructed of different pieces of wood. Yeah, this one, let's see, has about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces of wood here. So basically you could have this like a building system or it's maybe similar to Sons of the Forest where you have to go and chop down trees you know, maybe you have to manually carry each of those pieces of wood and place it down on the building structure, you know, place each individual log or plank. But yeah, this level of detail is crazy because let me actually give you guys a closer look at each plank of wood here. You might not be able to see it much in the video, but let's just zoom up here a little bit closer. Yeah, look at this, guys. You can see just the raw detail of each piece of wood, like all the splinters and stuff. And this one here, I don't know if you guys can see the crack right here, but remember when I said those models were just raw scans and aren't using normal maps? So you can see this crack is actual geometry, meaning we can actually see the light and the palm trees through this little crack. And that's just how high detailed everything is here. That's actual model geometry. It's not a normal map or anything like that. But yeah, I can actually crouch down 
and I'm on the floor right now on all fours, but we can get a good look of what's underneath this foundation. It kind of looks like you can just crawl right underneath, and maybe this would be like a good hiding spot for your player, but yeah, let's go ahead and stand up real quick. But look at the soft shadow that this palm tree is casting. I mean, this looks absolutely beautiful. You can just see the palm tree leaves moving in the wind, casting all these dynamic shadows, and we can just look up at the sun and cover it with our eyes. But it's also casting these shadows onto our foundation here, and it just looks absolutely Absolutely beautiful but anyways let's actually hop onto our foundation and just standing on here actually feels like I'm standing on top of something high up it really feels like I'm standing on top of a building platform I don't know if you guys can get the same experience of watching this video but it just looks and feels like I'm actually building something I'm standing on some sort of scaffolding or structure or something like that but yeah we can crouch down here and just look again at the crazy level of detail in these wooden planks but let's just go ahead and step down right over here and look at these beach rocks I mean these beach rocks again are also photo scan assets so you can see each of these are individual rock models so you can see they're casting their own shadows I think this is a really good example of what nanite is capable of because nothing in here looks flat at all this is all actually actual 3D geometry and you know, each rock has its own surface around it which would just be impossible without Unreal Engine 5's nanite feature because just having all these triangles would melt and destroy your frame rate if you didn't have the feature of nanite enabled. Honestly it kind of looks like you could just move each rock around like you could just pick up certain rocks and throw them around toss them around maybe that would be like the next step in creating some sort of next gen game where you know each rock individual rock can simulate physics so that the player could dig around they could move the rocks physically and they would slide around if the player would stand on them. I mean, that would just be crazy. But, you know, who knows? We never thought that nanite would be possible, but here we are. So really anything would be possible in the future. But yeah, let's go ahead and check out this wooden structure that I've made over here. And this entire scene I actually put together in about 30 minutes or so in Unreal Engine 5.4. So I just used some free Megascans assets that I got off of Fab. And I've dragged them into the scene. And I believe really I'm only using about 10 or so different asset types. So yeah, things like the B rocks pile that's one type we have the sand on the ground that's again another type of asset uh, the different palm trees the bushes the big rock slab and then of course the different wood pieces so really it's just a small assortment of different assets that I've used for the simple scene and I hope that you guys can really get the same experience from watching this video but it's really incredible seeing this stuff up close in VR because the field of view and especially with the meta quest 3 I mean the resolution on this headset is a whole lot better than the previous headset that I had which was the meta quest too and I really haven't tried out on religion 5 in my uh, new headset this is like the first time so this is mind-blowing to see something with this high level of detail graphics up close in this VR headset and I wonder why games haven't yet used this technology and some sort of PC VR game yet I mean you'd think that they would have some VR game that leverages Nanite and Lumen technology inside of Unreal Engine 5, especially utilizing these Mega Scans assets in particular. But honestly, I haven't seen such a game on the marketplace. And maybe you guys could let me know down in the comments if you've seen any sort of game using these assets in a VR setting. I would be interested to know if there's any games out there. But as far as I know, I haven't seen any of those types of games yet. So yeah, let's go right over here to the front of this building. So this is what it would look like if you're sort of constructing this shelter in a survival game you know you have your wooden foundation the wooden walls you have the wood door frame and you built maybe sort of this one by one wooden hut but yeah this looks absolutely crazy because of all the realistic nanite meshes put together to create this wooden hut let's actually take a step inside and look around and it just blows my mind seeing each piece of log like this put together i mean you can just see all these soft shadows being casted by the sun because each log piece has its unique shape and feel and all the chips in the wood and all the marks on that you can all see all the details and all the shadows from it being casted but yeah this is how tall the hut is I'm actually six feet tall so the door is a little bit too small for me I actually have to bend my head down to get underneath it but other than that I think the scaling is really good so if we take a step down here onto the floor or onto the sand and just look at this little hut I think for a game like this you could have a sons of the forest type building system we have to place each individual log one by one personally I've never really messed around creating VR games I've made quite a few PC games in 
Unreal Engine 5, but I really haven't played around much with creating a VR game. The main difference is a whole physical controller interface. So typically in a VR game, you have your controllers in each hand, and so you can grab certain objects, and it just introduces another level of complexity in the game development side of things where you have to, you know, understand how players will use the physical controllers, how they can move around certain items, how they can manage sort of an inventory system by just using, you know, a controller with a couple of different buttons, how they will move around the level and navigate, all that stuff. It's just a whole nother level of thinking that you'll have to do. And it's just something that I have very little experience with, but it's definitely doable to create your own VR game. It just requires, a, you know, a bit of experimenting and figuring out how the whole system will be set up. Now, guys, I'm running this on my 4090 rig PC, and this is just a simple scene, but it's definitely putting a lot of strain on my PC uh, to run. So I'm wondering if you guys actually want to try this demo out for yourselves. Maybe I should go ahead and upload it in a zip file and leave it in the description so you guys can test out the PC VR and see how it runs. Let me know down in the comments if that is something that you want to try out for yourself, and I'll upload another video uh, with the demo as a zip file that you can actually download and test for yourself. It should work for any uh, headset that you use for PC VR. All you have to do is open Steam VR and run the game and it should work. Uh, in my particular case, I'm using the Steam VR along with the Oculus Link feature. So basically you have to download the Oculus desktop app on your PC. Then you open up your headset. You can connect through the Quest Link from your headset to your PC. And then you just have to launch Steam VR. Uh, then you just launch the game after that and it works pretty seamlessly. And it's all being streamed live from my PC to my headset and it looks and feels pretty responsive. Anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. I'm eager to hear your guys' thoughts on this demo. Should I release it in a zip file for you guys to download and try it out? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll work on getting it all packaged and ready to go. I'll probably just release it in a separate video. So yeah, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that future video. Also, make sure you leave a like on this particular video. And again, if you guys are just trying to learn or get into game development in Unreal Engine 5, maybe you're wanting to create your survival game of your own, or maybe you just want to create your own dream game, check out my multiplayer survival game course as it will teach you the fundamentals of game development, how to create a game with multiple different systems, Systems, like an inventory system, crafting system, and how these systems can interface with one another. Check the course out on my website, smartpoly.teachable.com. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.